Okay. This is uh, Batman Revenge of the Joker for the SNES. This was the same basic game that was released on the Genesis and on the NES, although it was called Batman Return of the Joker on the NES. Oddly enough, there's a Batman Return of the Joker on the Game Boy, but that's a completely different game. This one was never actually released at all. For some reason, it was completed and never released. You can see some unfinished aspects of it, like the uh, clouds there, but... For the most part, this is indeed a lot better than the Genesis version. I mean, you can tell right away that the graphics are a lot better. And uh, the sound is better, too. There's no kick. There's no weirdness like that. It's still not as good as the NES one, but it is a whole lot better. Ooh. Okay. So, ooh! Alright. As you can see, the graphics are very clean. And, uh, you know, it's just a whole lot less shitty than the Genesis version. Which really makes me wonder why this was never released. Notice that it's not as dark in tone as either the either of the other two versions, the Genesis or the NES. But I still maintain that the NES did have the best version. Well, this one is not bad. I think one falling and failing in this is that, as you can see, the enemies do take a lot of shots to uh, get fucked there. Sometimes the projectiles are kind of slow. Alright, the gargoyles are easier to kill in this than the Genesis, but not as easy as the Super NES. Still don't, like, I can do it pretty easily, but it's still hard to do without getting hit. Ah. Notice that instead of going to a different uh, screen there, it was all smooth and seamless, stage clear. Okay. So it's an interesting to see this as a, com a game that is completely unreleased. It, I would say it's late beta, you know, or like a review copy. It's really close to being finished, I would say. This stage is a bit different than the... Uh, NES and the Genesis counter. Well, I never got to it in the Genesis, actually. I can't get past those goddamn gargoyles. Motherfuckers. But, uh... It's different from the NES. You can see it's actually a lot easier. Oh, I'm getting owned. I'm not getting owned. As badly as I would have been on the NES. Ugh. I hate that in a lot of these games, enemies hurt you just by, like, occupying the same space as you. You need to make that a... Th well, it kind of is a thing of the past, but... Ah, oh, man. I wonder what that DN... It must be a password. DNCN. It must be a password. Notice that you retain your weapon when you die, which is another cool feature that none of the other versions had. Power-ups don't block your shots. Neither does the background as much. Ooh. I'm not paying attention. I'm talking too much. <laughs> so. so overall, it's definitely not a bad game. I do see some aspects of it that look kind of goofy and I kind of suspect are unfinished. However, I do really wonder why this was never released. I'm thinking maybe because the Genesis one was such a flop. But I do think that this would have done better. I think the Genesis was a flop because it was it was a bad version. So I... Ooh. So I kind of wonder why uh, the final decision was made to let this one rot. This is a long stage. And is the only decent weapon. Also, if you notice, you can't change the power-ups by shooting them. This blimp is kind of pissing me off. This part does get repetitive after a while, just because the stage is pretty long, and it is basically the same shit over and over. And 
if you notice, it is scrolling a lot slower than uh, the NES version did. I, like I said, I've never gotten this far in the Genesis version, because I fucking gargoyles, I don't know what the fuck their deal is. I just really wonder about this game sometimes. Not bad, man. Let's see. That way. In the fucking NES version, that's like the only weapon that would pop up. <laughs> Get like millions of C's. Because it dips down and gets more of these stupid motherfuckers. I mean, so let me get this straight. These guys are on the ground, and the blimp has to dip down to pick them up. I think the NES version made more sense, where the guys were already in the stage, and eh, that's it. And, you know, the, the blimp was air support. Stage clear. The artwork in this is pretty cool, as you can see. It almost looks like something that might have come out of the comics. All right, here's the boss. Same basic idea. The graphics aren't as flashy as the NES version, which is always a huge shock to me. I think he's a lot easier. This version. Just keep spamming the hell out of him. Occasionally try and dodge his shots. Looks like he's showing damage, which is something that wasn't shown in the NES one. I don't know if it was in the Genesis one. It is basically the same style. It's just not as uh, polished, really. But I think that maybe if the, if the game wasn't killed, that they might have added more polish. I don't know how close to completion this was. You know, like, is this version 0 0.99, or is it more like 0 0.76? Stage 3. All right, this is the ice stage, I think. Let's see. Oh, all right, this is different. Oh, no, no, it was like this. I remember now. I think after this is the case. Oh, alright, that was kinda crappy. Something fucking ass related, actually. Yeah. Pretty close to a game over here, actually, which sucks. I don't know if this continues. There is a password. I don't know what it was, but. Oh, oh, oh. Hiss. Oh, this continues, alright. So they give you continues, which seem to be unlimited, and passwords, so it's a tough game, but... Okay, I'm going to be able to entertain your weapon. So it's a tough game, but it's not, like, impossible or anything. Yeah, shooting those is never going to work out for me, is it? This just does seem to be a lot easier than any version of it that I've played. Ah! Just the enemies do kind of like to occupy the same space as you kind of own you that way. Oh, there is not enough time. Yeah. This. It's just an interesting curiosity. Next we'll be going into games for the Super NES that actually were released. I much have to know the timing of those things. And jump before you're supposed to. Ugh. There's a way to get through this without just getting owned every second, I'd like to know it. Oh. That was rather shitty. Oh, man. Oh, I'm not meant to get through this, am I? Oh, I'm not meant to. It's not meant to happen. It never was an easy game. I mean, this is... Oh, I mean, this is a whole hell of a lot better than that shit on the Genesis in terms of how hard it is. But, um... <sighs> this is the easiest version. I'm still getting owned in stage 3-1 here, so... Let's see if I can just... Across. Yeah, okay. Ah, oh, where did you... Ah, oh, bat pizza. Well, I'm not going to bother continuing, because I've had enough of this shit. <laughs> there you have it. Batman Revenge of the Joker on the SNES. Uh, hopefully tomorrow I'll get to some games that actually were released. <laughs>